Hello everybody and welcome to Be A Better Game Master. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to tabletop role-playing games, how to play them, how to run them, etc. But this series is going to be something completely different. In this series, I am going to be playing a computer game, a grand strategy computer game. Grand strategy computer games are kind of like, or just grand strategy games, they're kind of like board games. Uh, like really complex board games, like you know maybe Axis and Allies might be an example, probably. Not, uh, but but they're more complex because they have all the benefits of being on the computer. Uh, so th that's a uh, that's absolutely a hobby of mine. I love playing these games. This one in particular is called Crusader Kings Two, and it takes place uh, during kind of the the Middle Ages. I'm in 1066. It goes as early as the 700s, but I wanted to start at 1066. Um, and this game is part is kind of like f part one in a four part series of games by Paradox Interactive. You see, you have this game, which is Crusader Kings Two, and it takes place from like seven hundred to fourteen ninety two, and it's all about uh, stories. It's all about um, people, right? I'm playing. You're playing as a person, and then you're going to play as his heir when this person dies, and you only lose when you run out of heirs, right? And, and you you make decisions like very simple decisions, like whether or not to hold a feast or whether or not to hit on someone who's not your wife, like so really very sometimes trivial decisions, but oftentimes very serious decisions. And you can also do things that you might be able to do and like risk and go to war and stuff like that and march troops into other people's lands. Uh, and you can do it all uh, around this map, right? So again, it goes from about the 700s to about 1492. Now, the second game in the Paradox Interactive series of grand strategy games is called Europa Universalis IV. And what it is, it's very similar, except the map is larger. Uh, it goes more into, like, I think the uh, a uh, Southeast Asia and China and things like that. And you have the Americas, uh, of course. And uh, it's all about uh, it, uh, trade and warfare. You're a lot of moving troops around. And I'm, I'm moving the map around uh, just subconsciously, by the way. So may, I'm giving you a, a good view of kind of all the different areas, maybe. I might zoom in. Uh, but basically, it's about trade and warfare. Uh, a lot of it is moving troops around, taking over places. And it takes place uh, from 1492 to, I think, around the 1800s. Now, the third game in the Paradox Interactive series is called Victoria 2. And it's very similar to both of these games, except it's very based on the economy, right? Trade and mercantilism and the economy. And then lastly, the fourth game in the Paradox series is called Hearts of Iron 4. It is 100% about war because it is a World War II game. Uh, you can play as World War II or, uh, historically, or you can turn historical off and play as, you know, maybe France goes fascist or, you know, the United States goes communist. Like, you never know. Anything can happen. Um, but the cool thing about all of these games is they all have this feature that allows me to, when I finish playing Crusader Kings 2, I can take my save file and bring it to Europa Universalis 4 and load it in that game and have the same map. Nothing will have changed because I've loaded my Crusader Kings 2 save. And then I can take my EU4 save and load it into Victoria 2, and I'll have the same map. So I can take this King Alfonso VI of Leon, right? This is who I'm playing. This small country on the Iberian Peninsula right here. Small country. I'm playing as a king uh, it, it, during the Crusades, right? And I'm going to take it all the way through to World War II, in which I hope to, when that war starts, I hope it starts with me uh, controlling the Iberian Peninsula, and it'd be cool to have all of Africa. I feel like that would be dope. If I could do that, then I could play a really cool, maybe... Uh, democratic game. I might go democratic. I don't know. I'm thinking too far ahead because right now I still haven't played Crusader Kings 2. Let me explain to you kind of what this game is about. Again, I told you earlier, it's all about the stories about the people, the decisions I'm going to make. I'm going to be hiring council members. I'm going to be enforcing laws in my realm and obligations and taxes. I am going to be researching technologies like tolerance and legalism and cavalry and light infantry. I'm going to be going to my military tab and I'm going to be raising my levies, raising troops and invading other territories. War is a big part of this game. It's not you know as big as other games, but because I am on the border right here with this, if I switch to the religious map mode, you see this. This is a very historical, uh, true, th historically true thing. Uh, there's a, 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 
a war going on here, basically, of religions. This is, and this is another thing I love about these games, is I love history. I love, stu- I love reading about it. I love listening to podcasts about it. Uh, and a big part of the year 1492, uh, you know, the United States, they, people here think of Christopher Columbus, right? When we hear 1492, you know, Christopher Columbus, that's what we think of. But another huge thing happened in 1492, and that was the uh, last Muslim population was removed from the Iberian Peninsula, and their last stand was at this place called Granada. And they were kind of forced into Africa. And this claimed all of the Iberian Peninsula, and therefore kind of all of Europe, for uh, uh, Christianity. And um, then the Spanish Inquisition uh, began, because all the Muslims were gone, so they had to kill somebody else. That makes makes sense, right? Anyway, I love the historical facets of this game. Um, And we are, like I said before, going to be going into a myriad of wars because we are a Catholic nation, we are a Catholic people, and we are right on the border with Sunni Islam uh, pressing into the Iberian Peninsula. So that is going to be the person we are role-playing as. Uh, And I do a lot of role-playing in this game. So this game inspires me uh, story-wise. And if you're following along, uh, I don't know, I feel like this might be kind of a fun little way to... I don't know. It, 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 there's a lot of fun stories that that come up uh, due to this game, so you might enjoy listening. Uh, if you are here to watch me play really good Crusader Kings 2 like an expert, bro, you've come to the wrong place. I am no expert at this game. I'm going to make tons of mistakes. I'm going to screw up, but at the end of the day, uh, if you're playing it perfectly, then you're doing something that's an, an anachronism. No historical leader anywhere in this map ever did everything perfectly, so you know I'm, I'm playing more truthfully to the game. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but seriously, I'm not that great. Um, I'm not terrible, uh, but I am trying to get better. I'm going to be sending out assassins to kill people, specifically my brother, and I'll explain in uh, episode one why that is. I'm going to be uh, facing a bunch of diseases as they in, uh, come in through the uh, uh, the east and through the south toward my country. Now, you don't see any diseases on this map now, but they will appear uh, as we go. There are uh, very, I have all the downloadable content for this game loaded, uh, except for I do have Sunset Invasion loaded, but I turned off the Aztec Invasion, so we will not be invaded by the Aztecs. Uh, it's a fun, a fun, cool bit of downloadable content you can have for the game, but we're not going to be attacked by the Aztecs in this game because that would uh, put to death, I think, our dreams of uh, playing through all four Paradox games. We're going to fight against factions. We're going to be working with the Pope, Alexander II, in Rome, uh, and uh, training religious leaders and fighting religious wars. It's going to be awesome. So I'm very excited to journey or go on this journey with you, learn more about King Alfonso VI of Leon, uh, pronounce a bunch of words wrong, and just have fun with you in the comments. So thank you everybody for tuning in to Be a Better Game Master. This has been episode zero of Barker Plays Crusader Kings 2, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in episode one.